the couch stretch. Number one stretch you want to do to open up your hip flexor. Uh, you can do that on the couch as the name says. Also bench, wall, everything fine. So have a look. What you want to do is you want to get your knee as close as possible to the couch in this case. Turn your foot around, be quite upright, find a good position where you balance and now I want to push my hip down forward. Very important, my hip. I keep my rib cage closed. I push down forward and now three things that I like to do. First of all, to get real change in tissue, I want to stay here at least for three minutes. So I'm changing what I'm doing every minute. Okay, minute one, I want to feel how my hip flexor is doing. So I'm pushing my hip down forward, hold it for a second or three. I come back and I'm working myself into a deep stretch. That's the first thing I do in minute one. Once we hit minute two, I'm going to squeeze the butt cheek of the back leg, I squeeze it and I start pushing my knee forward. Imagine I want to move the earth this way, so I'm pushing forward, okay? That now becomes a very active stretch, so I'm promoting strength. Squeeze and I'm pushing forward. My rib cage stays down, I'm staying here for another minute. From there, front knee, I extend and I try to come as upright as possible, right? Don't lean forward, you will lose the stretch. You push back, you move yourself closer and closer to the couch or, or to the wall. Keep squeezing that butt, okay? Keep squeezing that butt. The moment I release, I lose tension. I squeeze, I push with my front knee back. I stay here a minute three. After three minutes, slowly come down, move your foot, relax and switch side. That is an awesome stretch. You might not be able to hit three minutes from the beginning, but that should be your, yeah, your short or midterm goal, okay? Minimum two minutes plus three minutes is great. Do that a couple of times per day, especially if you sit a lot and you feel lower back pain. 95% of the time it comes from our hip flexor, which connects to the lumbar spine. And this one is a great exercise to open that up. In addition to the couch stretch, you want to do some kind of strength training for your lower back. Most important, use a light weight, whatever you can control very well, and focus on speed control. Okay, stretching on its own will give you a release, but you want to have some, yeah, some, some internal work. You want to make your muscle contract and relax. Contract and relax. And uh, I really like to do the kettlebell deadlift, especially if I'm really stiff from training or something happened to me uh, caused by impact. Anyway, so what I want you to do is pick up the kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you got. Now, this is a hip donor movement. I want you to let the kettlebell well, the deadlift get led by your bum, so I'm pushing my hips back. Maybe you feel tension here, come back up. Yeah, that might be all the range of motion you got. Stay here for a moment, come back up. Now with every rep, I move slow and I'm showing my body that there's no danger. There's no reason for my lower back to cramp. Very important, there is good pain and bad pain. I don't want you to work into bad pain, but you have to show your body that there is no reason to build what we call a neuromuscular barrier to restrict range of motion, okay? So you allow the kettlebell to move you all the way down. And that's the restriction of range of motion often comes from, um, Previous experience, injuries. Injuries most of the time happen because you're weak. Yeah, A force gets applied on tissue and the force is stronger than the load bearing capacity of that tissue. So even you're strong, uh, you might be weak because the force was stronger than you. Um, anyways, what your body does, it stops you. It don't allow you to go into that range where the injury happened. 
and using now a slow but loaded exercise to show your body hey, everything is good there's no reason to cramp and stop you to entering that range of motion um, as a great tool to release that that, that cramping sensation yeah, when you get closer to the end range. Uh, I'm sure you experienced that before, that's why you're watching that video. Use the couch stretch first and then do a loaded exercise like the kettlebell deadlift, start standing, take a light weight and move slow and control. Show your body that there's no danger, promote strength, the weight will help you uh, doing that and then work your way uh, lower and lower, closer and closer into the end range. Enjoy.